hi you guys welcome back to the channel this is lone star chick plans welcome to another video today's video we're going to be going over gramsy aka my mom her february budget closeout and let's see how she ended the month let's get into the video okay so we are going to talk about february let's get into the budget so we started off the month with 279.71 in rollover and this is from the february 1st to the 29th this is um her monthly budget she only receives money like once a month so she does budget monthly not weekly or bi-weekly she budgets just one time a month and then just kind of checks in every week or every couple of days so this month this month ended up having a lot of things going on um so so far this month she cleared about twenty one hundred dollars in income and this was from multiple sources um and because of the things that happened this month which we'll get into but we'll just go over real quick here so we had about twenty one hundred dollars in income we had five hundred and six dollars in expenses which are the variables gas grocery spending eating out that kind of stuff bills we had 1428 um no debt payments she doesn't have um that kind of debt coming out of her account 367 dollars was saved and the remaining was 78 dollars and 42 cents for um rollover into march so let's get down to income let's just go over income real quick so income she she is um gets income from social security and a little retirement account uh, money so she gets that she also gets 150 dollars transferred from her savings every month to help with her expenses and she also got her tax refund and my brother paid her back for doing his taxes and then she cashed out 67 dollars and 62 cents in rewards and a penny on interest so that was income twenty one hundred dollars guys this isn't every month that we have this kind of income this was just kind of like a once in a year maybe kind of deal so for sinking funds we were able to save this month 177 dollars which we also did a video on and month ahead was 190 and this was to catch her up on her already one month ahead um bills that she had so let's see for let's go over bills first we'll go over bills first so for the month we budgeted um 877 dollars for rent that was paid um that was for march's rent she already had paid february's rent so this is for march's rent um, water, gas, pest control, and trash was $115 that came in on budget. Electric, we budgeted $120 and it came in at $151.62, which was $31.62 over the budget. Internet was $50 and that came in on budget. She does tithe and that was $171.64, came in on budget. Shopify was $5.27 and this is a monthly expense um, for her little Shopify store that she's going to open. So hopefully she'll start generating some income where that can go towards her business budget and not coming out of her personal budget. Bluehost is um, her website hosting and that also hopefully that will be a business expense and not coming out of her personal. But for this month it's coming out of personal and that's $36.99 for the annual subscription. Her car wash... Um, is twenty dollars and that came in on budget and that's a subscription for car wash she can just go wash her car whenever she wants no debt no investments um for variables so we budgeted 551 dollars and 84 cents for the month and that was 240 dollars for groceries we only spent 125 dollars and 21 cents so she was 114 dollars and 79 cents under budget for gas, we budgeted $50. She spent $26.25, so we were under budget $23.75. Eating out was $30. The actual amount spent was $45.77, and we were over budget there for $15.77. Spending money was $136.84. That was just kind of an oddball because we were playing with the budget. 
she spent $214.82 and that was $77.98 over budget. Um, for medical, this, this was a doctor's appointment and that was $20. Um, no prescriptions this month. Taxes was $39 and this was for my brother. So she did my brother's taxes and so um, she paid the $38.42 and he paid her back. Remember we saw that on income up here. So he paid her back for that. So that was kind of a wash. And then this was doing her brother's taxes. This was $36. And he did give her some money. But that money was given to her way at the end of the month. So we are going to include that in March's budget. Even though it probably should have been included in February's budget. Actually, no. I think he did give her some money. We'll check on the expenses below. But anyways, that was for expenses and bills. So overall... We were under budget $45.37 for the month of February in those categories. Now, this was the first month that we were really sticking to a budget and even created a budget and we're working from the budget. So we're still honing this in. We're still working the kinks out. We're still trying to learn how to do this. She hasn't really ever done this before, so I am helping her with this. And we're working on it together so she can get better at doing it by herself. But I'm just helping her out and keeping her on track. And also, you know, it, it helps to have an accountability partner that you can do this with so that they can hold you accountable. But also, you know, if you see something that they don't, you can help them out as well. So and that's why we're doing this. So for expenses, we probably left off somewhere. I don't know. We'll just say maybe like about here because I can't remember how much we talked about but anyways she spent most of the month out of town visiting with her brother so she wasn't home for most of the month so there was a lot of time in the month where she didn't spend any money and that is why her budget for groceries was a little bit less and her gas was a little bit less she wasn't really at home driving around using her own car or anything like that um, but that is also why her food budget was a little bit more because she was out of town and she did have to like get food at the airport and stuff like that. So that was why that was more. Um, so this was um, $38.42 for taxes. She bought something from Designs by Juju for $15. This was for doing her um, brother's taxes. That was $32.10. Um, $5 that she bought some books from Turning Point. Um, it's Christian reading material um, that she buys from time to time. This was Bluehost, $15 for her website hosting, $5.36 from Designs by Baby Moon. Um, she did pay $17.04 to have some Zoom meetings with her family, but we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to try to do like Google Meets or something that's free instead of paying $17 for Zoom, but she didn't know that. She didn't think about that, so she she just went ahead and signed up for Zoom because that was what she knew. But we talked about it and, and you know, next time we're going to try to do something that's more free so that, you know, we can stay within the budget. Um, $5.62 was spent on embroidery designs um, thread. Um, $21.99 was again for Bluehost towards the annual uh, web ho website hosting subscription. $10.39 in groceries at HEB. That is our local grocery store. Um, if you guys are not from Texas, you wouldn't know that. But HEB is a big, giant grocery chain, but only in the state of Texas. And that's, you know, we have a little tiny little pantry one nearby where we live, um, but not that's about it. Um, Bucky's for gas, $26.25. Um, she bought some quilting machine pins, and that was from Amazon for $8.74. She spent $171.64 on tithing. She had saved $190 on sinking funds, $177 on sinking funds. We saved $877 for rent and $115 for utilities. That was all to get a month ahead for the month of March. So now going forward, we will be a month ahead. Um, she didn't realize that she had enough in her savings to even do that, which was a pretty nice revelation last month. So this month it was really nice and smooth and we were able to just, you know, start that month ahead process going forward. 
Um, so that's great. Walmart sewing notions for eight dollars and seventy four cents. Latrells, I believe this was food. Oh yeah, eating out. So fifteen dollars and four cents. Um, she stopped at the gas station and got her bottle of water for dollar fifty nine. This is her electric bill that was definitely not supposed to be that high. I'm not sure why it was one hundred and fifty one sixty two, but it was a little bit chillier last month, so that could be why. She spent $11.90 at Sam's, $8.74 on Amazon. I'm not sure what was purchased. Oh, hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I have to sneeze. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so my voice probably sounds a little funny. Um, this was $1.95 for her brother's business that he's going to reimburse her for. That he did reimburse her for in the month of march we'll see that um scopely so these were some online games that she was playing which we've talked about and we're not going to do that anymore because that is eating into the budget and we are on a fixed budget um so like these are the kind of things that we're working on that are not visible if you're not tracking your expenses so these three dollars and 24 cents i mean she did that multiple times this this past month so that was nine dollars and 72 cents i mean at the end of the day it's not much it's only nine dollars and 72 cents but when you're on such a tight fixed budget like she is nine dollars and 72 cents is a lot of money that could be used for something else so we did talk about that and we're gonna try to do free and or keep it at a minimum so that it doesn't you know get too crazy and eat into the budget too much but this was Monopoly Go. She likes to sit and play Monopoly Go and some online games sometimes when she has some downtime. So T-Mobile, $50. This was internet. Um, another business form, $1.95. Her car wash subscription for $20. Her Shopify subscription for $5.27. Um, she spent $15.11 for her and her brother to eat out at McDonald's. Um, she pitched in $30 for some funeral flowers for my brother's roommate, for his um, father who passed away. Um, $7.95 at Burger King. $38.38 at Walmart for some groceries when she got back home. $24.54 for some more groceries at Walmart um, when she got back home as well. And that was all the spending for February. So you can see that, you know... It all adds up, but we were still under budget, which is amazing and great. So that's awesome that we ended the month. And we ended the month with $78.42 of rollover towards March. So I would say a couple of things to note was that her tax refund was additional income this month. She did cash out some good rewards this month, but that probably won't always be. Um, her electric bill was higher than anticipated, which also could be a potential problem. And that's why we're going to be saving more towards that going forward. Um, but we're going to be trying to estimate high so that in the months where a bill comes out like this, we'll have rollover or leftover from the month before's to put towards that bill we're gonna try to hone in on the eating out and um i think we're doing good on gas um groceries we also probably estimated really high which you know maybe we didn't need that much so you'll see how we adjusted that going into march because march is a new month march is a different month and march we're back to kind of like bare bones budget so we'll see how that goes but these are the kind of things that you can play with in your budget to kind of hone in on your spending or if you're overspending you can kind of cut that back and maybe try to make that a goal and try to see if you can meet that the next month and so that's what we're going to do we also have some more adjustments you know in some of these categories for next month just kind of looking ahead and evaluating where we ended on february um, we're also now a month ahead on bills so and rent. So our month ahead is, you know, going to be like all these bills, you know, going forward because we want to stay that month ahead and stay in a good place. So, yeah, those were some takeaways from February. She also traveled most of the month. So 
while she wasn't spending like a lot of money because she was at home she did spend a little bit more money eating out and spending money because she was away so um and also she spent some money on some things that her brother paid her for but like we're putting that in the march budget because of the when she got it when she came back home it was like way end of february and so that um we didn't get that in the bank until march so We'll see that in March, but yeah, guys, so not too bad for the real first month of doing this budget. I think we did pretty well considering, but, you know, it could always be better, but we'll see how March goes. But yeah, so stay tuned for the March budget with me and the March cash stuffing. Those will be the next videos for this budget coming out. But if you did like this video, guys, please comment. Leave us a comment, words of encouragement, something. Um, like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the videos when they come out. This is a monthly budget, so we may not always be doing, let's say, like a weekly update. There may or may not be like a whole lot to report. So we may not see this budget again until we're closing out the month of March. So just stay tuned for that we're kind of trying to work out the bugs still trying to get on a regular filming schedule so that we can do that because i'm kind of doing it for her so we're having to get together i'm having to get her to update her budget and all that stuff but yeah so stay tuned for that more things coming and yeah so let us know how we did and we'll see you guys in march bye